Welcome to Fuzzy Dragons, and today I'm drawing another piece for a Discord server. What do we? It's a, a challenge, like a collabor collaboration challenge. That's what the word I'm looking for there. In this Discord service is the Artist Connection. I'll put all the info down below. Why do I keep pointing down below? I need to get the other camera set up so you can see actually how much I use my hands when I talk. Because I'm very flamboyant when I do with my hands and stuff. I mean, I have hit myself in the face a few times. But anyway, the theme for this month was Egypt. And of course, I was going to draw something else. I was going to draw the Eater of the Dead, but it didn't quite work out. So, and I was having problems with OBS and it was pissing me off so much. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to draw a scarab. I draw a lot of scarabs. Well, I used to draw a lot of scarabs because I had a really big, huge ancient Egyptian face and when I was like 11, I think. I don't really know exactly. 11, 12, something like that. Huge. You just know everything I could about it. Ancient Egypt was, was my thing. I used to know the dates for everything, the freaking, like, the different, you know, pharaohs and uh, the way things, like, the art style. Like, I just, I knew I loved a lot. And I've forgotten a lot of it, sadly. I still know a bit. But at the time, I drew a lot of scarabs. Still did. That continued for years and years and years. And I still do. Now, I used to do them traditionally. Now I do them digitally because you can sort of cheat with a mirror function and so you can do like you know the mirror function you can draw the whole thing and I did draw it but then like I said I've been having problems with OBS and it's pissing me off so I might have to uninstall it and reinstall it not that you care it doesn't matter so I do another scarab here obviously this was originally the, the sketch was done in painter which I thought was recording but didn't the lines are done in um affinity designer so it's kind of like you know uh illustrator in um inkscape but, you know, cheaper. Well, Inkscape's free, so yeah, that's even cheaper. I still need to in use Inkscape. But anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, this is me inking it. And the designer's like, I'll leave a lot of circles. And it's kind of like a filigree. Filigree? Filigree? Filigree, I think it is. Kind of effect with, like, the the line, the inside, the outside lines and stuff like that. So, it kind of has a very, uh, not so much Art Nouveau look. Well, no, maybe influenced a bit by Art Nouveau, maybe. Yeah, or, uh, Art, uh... Uh, what's the hell the other one? I can't remember the other one I'm looking at. I can't remember. But yeah, so this was supposed to be up like an hour ago, and it wasn't because we went for a walk. Well, Joe went for a walk. I used my scooter because I can't walk long distances without falling on my ass. So use that. So it went around, the, uh, I don't know, about a mile or whatever. Because it's nice and sunny, and the sun is shining in Scotland. It has been for the last, like, two, three days. So, hey, you know, spring's here finally, and things are waking up, and it's great and stuff. I might draw some kind of flowers, you know, because it is spring and stuff like that so i should paint some flowers that's my idea maybe maybe i'll paint some flowers it doesn't matter back to the scarab so like i said lots of circles lots of lots and lots of circles so many circles but yeah and uh what else to say about this john's not saying anything because he's he's outside in the front enjoying the sun and i'm a vampire i don't like the sun well i like the sun but my skin doesn't like the sun because i'm pale as fuck but you know and I, and I burn like a lobster, I like, doesn't matter what it is, I'm like, I look like a lobster. But, maybe a scarab, if it was a, you know, a red scarab. But this is, well in the end this is kind of red, you do see that, but I'm not there yet. And, uh, yeah, you said lots and lots of circles, and turning the circles around and stuff like that. Easy enough though, I could copy and paste the circles. Another adventure is working digital. You can copy and paste it, you know, so you don't have to do it twice. And then I decided, okay, do the wings, like the pointy part of the pointy part. That's, yeah, that's technical, Jen. Um, the, uh, yeah, well, they're pointy. We'll say the pointy part of the, the feathers. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm having a brain kind of mood day today. But, like, the surprise, I'm like that a lot of the days. I'm kind of really flaky, you know, but that's me. <laughs> that's what I am. If you were talking to me in person, you could see how I jump from topic to topic to topic. And how flaky I can get. Which is why a lot of these videos are so bloody rambling. Even more so, John's here. You know, you get two people in the room with ADHD and it's like, eh. You know, it's like ramble, ramble, ramble. And occasionally songs can show up too. <laughs> but then again, I guess I have to watch what I sing or he sing because of copyright thing. But maybe short clips are okay, I guess. I don't really know. I have to look into that. But the top circles on this aren't exactly circles. I squished them to meet the feathers distance and stuff like that. And it was just that over and over again, you got the point after seeing it twice. I would think you got the point, maybe not. I don't know. But then I, but this stage, I have mirror, mirror, mirror the image. Once again, thought I recorded, OBS didn't, so it's like, ugh. And then I'll work on the tail, more circles, because you create the circle effects. You want to keep with your theme, you know. And I shrink the circles to fit, 
it's, you know, handy and stuff like that. Change the direction a little bit because they're not exactly looking right. And they need more circles. What the hell? We'll add circles to that. So it's kind of like a, a, a sort of like a club looking like a club, but a modified club maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's what you call it. Am I thinking of the right thing? I'm thinking of the wrong image, and I can't think of the right image. But then you just see copy and paste and stretch it a bit to fit. It's very handy digitally. People are like, oh, it's cheating. It's not cheating. It's working smart. You know, work smart. Don't work hard. You know, even traditionally, you know, work smart if you can. You know, shortcuts even in, in most things in digitally. So yeah, decided to color it. Now, I was coloring in Clip Studio because, well, I could have colored it in um, Designer. I just find it easier in Clip Studio. And also because I had to clean up some of the image because some of the lines weren't connected and I needed to erase some of the lines, which I found easier to do in Clip Studio. So I switched programs. Didn't need to, but I did because I'm lazy and work with what I got. And then see, added these are the paint tool with the paint, paint the unfilled areas to clean to paint the inside of the thin lines. And then I messed with the line colors because I wasn't sure what color would go with the lines better. And I thought, well, orange not too bright. You see, it's really bright. Uh, pale, no, I can't see anything. Then, huh? Oh, well, we'll go with like an orange kind of brown. That kind of works. Kind of makes like a metal kind of effect. And then with this, I just like put the reds. Keep, keep a simple color palette. Just goes red and blues. And that's what I thought. Just keep it simple. I don't want an extravagant color palette. So I just added red to the little circles inside. Quick, quick, quick. You know, you can see what I'm doing. It's like, yeah, okay. I wish it was as quick, actually. You know, my hands are kind of shaky, so it's not that quick. I wish it was that quick. Um, and then just have the colors and stuff. But yeah, I wish it was that quick. That would be amusing if I could work that fast, like, you know, but like a machine. Even though I guess the machine is doing some of the work, but I mean, I wish I could <clears throat> work that fast. I'm like croaking here. Get a drink. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> what am I drinking today? Pepsi Cherry Ma uh, Pepsi Max Cherry flavor. You know, I drink a lot of pop, but hey, whatever. Or soda depends on where you are, I guess. Just add the blues. See, it's like, just like I said, just do a simple color palette. I could have went all out and you know did like rainbow colors. And Ooh, there's an idea. A rainbow scarab. Hmm, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll do that next. Actually, that's a really good idea. I need to try these things. I did that. Anyway, so this is it finished. Like I said, very simple color palette. I actually quite like the way it looks. Like I said, it looks kind of like a very piece of jewelry that's done with like that filig, fil uh, whatever the hell it's, filigree work, whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, so that, like I said, it was for the artist connection in on Discord server. So put the info for that down there again. And next video, I don't really know. Uh, debating and doing a book, kind of, not review, but kind of like these are books you really should look at if you're doing like you know graphic design um what do you think is a good idea quick video or like i said do flowers i could do flowers but yeah anyway thank you for watching listen to me ramble about complete other crap not about the art probably and like subscribe ring the little, little notification bell if you like what you want, want to see me do more and leave a comment if you would like you don't have to but it's really appreciated if you do and I will be back on Monday, probably. Hopefully. Cross my fingers. Okay, bye.